Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Girl and Tumblers, and today I've got a cup that's pretty special to me. About a year ago, one of my best friends asked me to create a tumbler for her, and she is in the fight of her life against stage four melanoma, and the colors for melanoma are black and white. So I ended up doing a split cup for her, and on one side I did the awareness ribbons, and on the other side, I just did a collage of Bible verses that were very important during this time for she and between she and I. And I actually was just recently asked to recreate this cup, but with angel wings and stronger than the storm on the other side. So once I posted that cup, so many of y'all reached out to me and were asking for a tutorial. So I wanted to get it out there as quick as I could because it seemed to touch so many people, just like it did me when I originally made the cup for my friend Bridget. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. And it's such an easy cup to make. I basically go with the Jessica Flynn method where I just add bright into the epoxy and then just add the decals and some more epoxy. So it's a really basic cup, but it turns out so beautiful. So I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed the tutorial please ask any questions that you have i'm here to help make sure you check out the description box below i will link all the products that i use along with some discount codes down there for y'all so i hope that you enjoy it and thank y'all for watching So I'm starting today with a 32 ounce Hydro Fit from the Steel Magnolia and I've sanded the cup and I've spray painted it with Rust-Oleum 2X Ultra Matte Primer. It just happened to be what I picked up, the Ultra Matte, you can definitely use the matte. So I've spray painted that, I've let it dry for about 30 minutes and now I'm going to mark off the split section. So I'm going to half the cup. And you definitely can take this and sit it down on a sheet of paper and draw a circle around the bottom and fold that piece of paper in half. And that'll give you the halfway point. I've kind of done enough that I just can eyeball it usually. And then I'll take my builder's, I guess it's a builder's ruler that has a level on the bottom. So I usually just sit that down next to the cup and make sure that my line's pretty level and straight there. And then I make any adjustments in the tape if necessary. You did see me lay the tape down on the table. I usually stick it to my clothes or the table or something just so it's not so sticky. Since I'm really just using it as a line, I'm not really using it. I don't want it taped off necessarily. I just want to use that as my straight line. So I don't want it to stick too much over the white paint. And I'm just going to repeat this process for both sides before I go into spray painting. And I am gonna use Rust-Oleum's 2X Matte Black spray paint here for the other side. So I'm gonna take where my tape area is and I'm gonna get some saran wrap, like plastic wrap, and just tear off a sheet and cover that area. So that way the paint's not gonna get on this section of the cup. And then I do go ahead and spray paint that area and I leave the tape and saran wrap on there for about 30 minutes until it's dry. And then I'm gonna remove that and I'm about to go in to add my epoxy. Now I'm gonna add a little touch of bright in. You can see I've got about 30 milliliters of Countercultures Artist Resin here. And I'm just gonna add a couple little bumps of this Peachy Olive Glitters bright into it. So I'm not even gonna cover the top. You can see I'm just kinda adding a few little shakers into it. I'm gonna mix that up, apply that to the cup. And this is Countercultures Artist Resin. So it's their regular, not their facet. I do use their facet a lot. And I'm gonna use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then I'm gonna let that dry for about six to eight hours before I move into the next step. And now that I'm applying the epoxy to the cup, you can see like I just wanted to use this just to add a little bit of sparkle into it and not have to glitter both sides of the cup. It's just kind of, it's the Jessica Flynn's way of doing it where it appears that it has glitter on it, but it doesn't. It's just a little bit of glitter mixed into the epoxy and it gives it just this prettiest shine. So it's a lot quicker way of if you need a shortcut to get a cup done pretty quick, this is a quick way to do it. And after I've let that dry for about six hours, I am gonna go into my decals. Now this wings file is one that I purchased on Etsy. I will link it in the description box below for you guys. Um, along with the measurements that I use, I do want a little overlap on the split area. So if you're gonna use it and you're doing the same size and style cup, you will have an overlap, but you're gonna see here in a minute that I'm gonna trim it off. But I'll link that in the size in the description box below for y'all. 
and I'm just applying the transfer tape to the back here. I'm gonna peel off the original and then put like an extra piece on just so I can make sure I get the sizing and spacing correct on it. And you can see here, I like to just put like a little spare piece of backing on here so I can use the top to lay it down to give myself a guide on the split cup and on the side so I have this grid that's gonna line up with the the straight edges on the cup to make sure I've got it lined up pretty square because I do want the same amount of overhang on each side of for where I can trim the wings off. So after I've got it lined up on the cup, I'm just gonna peel a little edge of the backing off and then kind of do like I would do, be doing a vinyl wrap. Just allow the backing to peel off as I'm pressing the decal onto the cup, working it myself away around. So you see I have a little bit of overlap here and I am gonna trim that excess off. And here I'm just carefully peeling the transfer tape off. Obviously with the details and this holographic vinyl on these wings, sometimes you just, it tends to want to peel off little areas or pull up. So I'm just trying to be really careful after I've pressed it down firmly when I'm taking my transfer tape up, not to pull any of those little pieces off. So you can see here I've got an overlap and I wanted that. I, I didn't want the wings to be fully in the square. I wanted them to kind of look like they were outstretched on that area. So I just go in and trim off right along that edge where my black meets the white and I'm going to do this on both sides. And then after I get this trimmed off I'm going to go right into the other side to lay the awareness ribbons down and I just I will also link this in the description box below with the sizing that I used for it and I decided to lay these by hand just because it was an odd shape and size. So if you have a square pattern that you're trying to resize for this area because it's so long and narrow, narrow, I just decided that it was easier just to lay them by hand. So you're gonna have basically the edges here that are gonna go, the, that are gonna kind of line the seam that are cut off. And then the other ones I'm just gonna randomly apply throughout the center of the cup. And then once I'm finished, I am just gonna go straight into um, my layer of epoxy. Normally I would do with a holographic vinyl, a layer of Countercultures Quick Coat. This cup was still a little tacky, so this holographic vinyl was pretty well stuck to the cup, so I didn't feel the need to do it this time. But I do have Countercultures Fast Set here, and I've got about 25 milliliters that I've mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the cup and let that dry for about three hours before I go and add my second layer of decals. And then I didn't want there to be an area where you could see where the stronger than the storm decal is on top of the wing. So that's why I did go in and put a layer of epoxy in between. And I created this in the Fonto app. I'll link um, the a tutorial that I've actually shown how to do this before, but I will have this file in the Dixie Darlings Tumblr's Facebook group for you guys available that's already in an offset, so you can have that if you don't want to go in and create it yourself. So I'm just going to overlay here the white on top of the black and then apply that to the cup. And then you may notice here that my transfer tape is split. Just if I'm gonna wrap words around a cup, sometimes I'll split the sides of my transfer tape just to make sure that it's gonna lay flat. This one I was pretty sure it was going to be fine, but usually I just kind of split the sides of it anyway just to make sure. And I start with the center and then just press down going towards the outside. And then once I've got my backing removed, I am gonna go straight in and apply my vinyl stripes down the side. 
So I will have these linked. You see me actually add a thicker stripe here. So I've actually gone and pulled out the thinner lines already and use them on a different cup. And I always save those sheets of vinyl because you can go back in and the spaces that are in between the lines that you actually create are always the same. So a lot of times I'll just use those. So I just cut along the edge and then apply that. I do use apply this to the cup and then I decide I don't like these thicker stripes. So I actually do go back in and add a thinner one. And I can link that in the description box below for y'all the size I use. I go back I just use a square in design space and then I basically just resize it out to the side to the width and length that I want it so now I am gonna use the uh, a layer of quick coat here so this is counter cultures quick coat and it's a very good sealer especially if you're doing lines or stripes on a cup this holographic vinyl has a tendency to pull up at the top and the bottom so I am gonna use just a little bit of quick coat here I do apply it to the whole cup just because I don't like applying it to necessarily one area but it only takes a few drops here and I'm just gonna spread that out using my silicone tool here to apply it to the cup and then once I have this applied, I am gonna go just let that dry for about, it usually only takes like 30 minutes, especially like this. I'm just applying a real thin coat just to make sure that my lines here aren't gonna pull up of holographic vinyl. And then I'm gonna go right into my next layer of epoxy. And now I am gonna go into a layer of epoxy here. It's my final layer and it is Counterculture's Artist Resin and I've got about 30 milliliters mixed up for this cup. And I'm just gonna apply that. I'm gonna use my torch to pop any bubbles. And then if you feel like you need a second coat, you can definitely go into a second coat. You know, probably four to six hours later, I would go back into a second coat if I felt like I needed it. Because I had sealed this with a layer of quick coat, I did not feel like I needed to add another coat. And basically then our design's done. So after I apply this a coat of epoxy and I use my torch, just depending on if you want to use one or two coats, then our design is finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please, as always, ask any questions that you might have. I will link all the products that I use along with some discount codes in the description box below. Please make sure you go like, share, subscribe, all that fun, crazy stuff. And I appreciate you guys watching and make sure you join my Facebook group, Dixie Darlings Tumblers, and share your creations there. We love to hear from you. I love to see what you guys create and I'll see y'all again soon.